Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Okay, welcome back everybody. If you're new here, we are working on a 1927 Model T Coupe that uh, we're calling the Chicken Coop because the owner traded a chicken coop for the car. It's cool. Now, today we're going to do the transmission drums, and the reason I'm doing just the transmission drums, and this is going to be just to take them apart. Normally what we do is we put the clamp on, drop a valve down there, put the clamp on, and run this gear off. Sadly, all I did was dent my valve, which is a feat in itself, and this will not come apart. So rather than being a defeatist, yeah, I went to Harbor Freight. We got the Pittsburgh Automotive three jaw hydraulic puller, five tons of that doesn't take it apart. Ain't nothing gonna get it apart. 10,000 pounds of pulling force. As you can see, I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Because I wanted to make this a tool review. I'll tell you one thing, it is heavy. Let's take a look, see what we got. First look. Okay. We've got some accoutrements. It comes with new seals and I don't know what that is. It feels like nylon and it's split. That one is also split, so I don't know what those are. There's the directions. We'll set them aside because, you know, real men don't need directions. Got a bunch of bolts over here. What we got hiding up here? A handle. Okay. We've got three jaws. Not of the great white design. Eh, great white. We have a massive weird looking screw thingy with a pump on it. I'm assuming that this screws onto there. And these must attach this to that with those bolts. Okay, let me get this all set up here and we'll give it a try. And if you're hearing the clicking in the background, it is my Amazon hot tank, which is next to the Harbor Freight hot tank, but it's bigger. And it is never, ever, ever quiet here. All right, let me get this in one piece and we'll try it out. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Now will it work? have a very good grip on that. Oh cow. Ten thousand pounds. Wow. It doesn't want to come off. Keep you at a safe distance here. <clears throat> Five tons of pressure on that right now. Holy cow. Okay, so now what? 10,000 pounds of force on that gear. <clears throat> All right, now I gotta think. Never. Never. Has this happened? This car just does not want to come apart. I am pretty pleased at how well those those jaws grabbed on them. I'm, I'm very surprised that they they locked in as well as they did. I guess we need to try fire. What the hell of a dent in that. Thank you. 
Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. God, you're kidding me. I swear it just popped. <sighs> nope. And now I'm pushing my luck. Ten thousand pounds. Okay. At least I was holding the handle so it didn't hit me. Well, I ruined my pushing valve. We got a new valve. And we got bugs on our hands. That's disgusting. Ah, oh, man. This is miserable to work with. This thing is miserable to work with. Heavy. Now this is a two-piece valve, so this might be interesting. Okay, here we go, another five, ton five tons of pressure. Five tons. You didn't see that coming? Well, that's why we don't use the two-piece valves. Go get another valve. Seventeenth time is the charm. This really is not fun to set up. Let's try it again. think that's moved at all. Ten thousand pounds on it right now. Many hours later. I think I'm running out of gas. The tank in in my muscles. Ten thousand pounds. That is insane. I have got this thing cranked down as hard as it'll go. And that's five tons of pressure. It ain't going no more. I thought maybe if I leave it here for a minute, it will break free, but it has its own ideas right now. Look what it did to my valve. I've pressed out dozens with this valve, the same one. I painted it gold. Had it hanging on the wall. This is the first one that's ever damaged it. And look what it did to the other one. Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to have to take it someplace where they have a more powerful press, I guess. I thought buying this tool was going to be the answer, but I guess not. It was a shame. 10,000 pounds on that. Okay, I'm going to put this on the floor and give it a hit one more time. I think one more time. But I'm going to be standing on it. Maybe 
maybe I can get another ounce out of it. Good idea or bad idea? I don't know. Nope. Alright, I need a break. We're going to figure this out somehow. We will figure it out. It's enough of that. How badly do you think I bent that valve in? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. That hasn't moved at all. Okay, I guess I'm finding another machine shop. Unless my 12 ton press will fit in here, which I don't think it will. Oh boy. Okay, on to bigger and better things. Alrighty then. 